of how how a dissenting message to policy is treated. Chris Dyer was uh, another delegate from the state of Nevada who uh, made it through the selection process. He was one of the few that were um, elected and eventually approved by the national party against the opposition of the state party. So we'll, we'll hear from Chris Dyer and see what he has to say about the national convention. Uh, Chris, I understand that you were elected at the state convention in April to go to the national convention as a delegate. Could you tell me a little bit about how that came about? Uh, what happened at the state convention in April? Sure. Uh, we were broken up into our congressional districts so that uh, apparently you're supposed to have three delegates from each congressional district going to national. So Bob Beers and Dave Gibbs ran the election in Congressional District 1. We had about, I want to say, 8 to 10 people that put themselves out there as uh, nominees. And uh, Senator John Ensign, U.S. Senator John Ensign, uh, Danny Tarkanian, and myself were the three that were elected as delegates to the National Convention from Congressional District 1. Okay. Did uh, What about the elections for the other districts? Did they Were they completed? As far as I know, the elections for CD3 were completed, and then the, the count was stopped, I believe, before CD2 was ever released, before the results were released. So we had an election in which was not completed because they ended the convention. Uh, after you were elected a, a delegate uh, at a convention that was a recognized convention and the election was run by the party officials, did they ever contact you between then and the national convention to tell you you were an official delegate? Uh, no, no. Uh, the only contact I had from the party after I was elected as a delegate was a letter from the state chairman saying when we were going to have the uh, second convention, I believe the date that they set was July 27th. Okay. That's and the only other contact I had. And that convention never happened, is that correct? Uh, correct. There was uh, another convention that some of the delegates held in June, and I attended that one, and then the July one never went off. Why do you think they stopped the convention in April, midway through the elections? I don't know. Um, I wasn't I was running around making phone calls. I was pretty happy with the fact that I was elected as a national delegate. So I missed a lot of uh, the things that I read that were going on. I know that uh, I had an advertisement myself because I was a congressional candidate. I paid for an advertisement in the, uh, the program and up on the uh, video screens. And we were kind of under the impression that they wouldn't be able to get that advertisement in. So when they did, we, my wife and I very happily went up to Sue Loudon to give her our $500 check for getting that ad in. And she seemed... Uh, pretty distracted at the time. Apparently during that time was when she was working on a way to try and uh, end the convention early or on time if you believe what they say. Um, okay, so you were elected uh, as a delegate and then you were never notified by the party about your election. Um, what happened to, you actually went to the National Convention as a delegate. How did that come about? I had already planned to be in Minnesota. Uh, once I found out I was going to be a delegate, I had already planned to be there. And once I found out that I probably wasn't going to be seated as a national delegate, I decided I was going to be in Minnesota anyway. There was plenty of other things to do there. It was a, a campaign for liberty and rally for the republic. Ron Paul had a bunch of stuff set up. So I wanted to go there and, and you know, just be there anyway. And, uh, Two days, I think maybe two days before the national convention or before people were actually, you know, leaving for it, we were notified that uh, I was going to be a, a delegate. Uh, there had been some some dealings with the the national party, and they decided to seat me as a delegate. Okay. Uh, so you were one of a very few delegates uh, who were seated who were not the uh, party favorites. Is that right? Uh, I don't know if I'm a party favorite. Some people in the party like me. But, uh, yeah, I, I, it seemed like originally the plan was not to seat me as a delegate, and uh, I guess I was part of a compromise. Okay. Uh, tell us about the National Convention. When you um, arrived at the convention, uh, what, what happened exactly? Uh, well... I got kind of a chilly reception. Uh, the state party chairman was there along with some other uh, folks from the party. 
during the credentialing process, and uh, they made sure, you know, to not say my name very much. I had a guest with me, and it wasn't, you know, Chris Dyer has a guest. It was he has a guest. <laughs> Let's get his guest credentials. Uh, the ladies that were doing the the uh, credentialing recognized my name and asked me where they knew me from, and we told them that I had run for Congress. But uh, yeah, it, it was a, it wasn't exactly a welcoming reception, but I didn't expect it to be.